What is going on everyone? This is Ninja Geek here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be throwing up the blackout map on your screen. It was officially revealed by Call of Duty and everybody is talking about it at this point. And by the time that this video goes up, uh, you will obviously have probably already seen this map tens of millions of times. But I wanted to talk about my biggest concern for Blackout as of now. Now, right now, uh, it is not in beta stage. It is way before the beta stage. So we don't know how this game is going to actually play out. Um, but come September 10th, we will see... Well, I will personally see the gameplay of Blackout. And uh, I have Xbox One. I don't have a PlayStation. So I'll be able to play it on the 14th. But judging from everything we've heard and everything that David Vonderhaar has actually said about Blackout, I wanted to talk about my number one biggest concern. Now, before I get started, I would also like to say that David Vonderhaar did do a huge rapid-fire interview, and I will leave links to uh, pretty much everything he said down in the description below, so you can check that out for yourselves if you happen to be living under a rock and not see that information. But my biggest concern for Blackout out of everything that he said is that he, he's not, he doesn't really seem too confident that the game, or Blackout, I should say, will run at 60 frames per second. Now, I'm going to explain what I experienced during the actual multiplayer beta and that the gameplay, even when I ended up moving my beta to the internal drive, it the frame rate was the best it can be, but it was definitely not 60 frames per second, and that's just in the regular multiplayer. And keep in mind, I just have a regular standard day one edition Xbox One console. I don't have an Xbox One S or Xbox One X. So the game kind of didn't run as well as older Call of Duties did in terms of the frame rate, and that's kind of concerning in itself because I, that's what I personally have experienced. But now we're talking about Blackout on a larger scale map, a huge scale map, where we're going to have th all things combined from zombies. You know, we got Nuketown, Array, Firing Range, Turbine, we've got Estates, which apparently I think that's going to be Raid. We've got so many maps in this huge map, and I just don't know if that's going to be able to hit 60 frames per second. Now, apparently, there have been uh, sites and sources and everything, and Game Informer themselves has come out and said that Blackout runs fine, perfectly fine at 60 frames per second on a PS4 Pro, but that's on a PS4 Pro. You know, people with a regular PlayStation might experience something different, or even people with another PS4 Pro might experience something different. As well, that's only one source, one uh, outlier, I guess, in this whole thing. And we're going to have to wait to see with the beta if people are actually experiencing frame rate problems. But I think that this is my biggest concern because Call of Duty has really been noted and known for their gameplay. And uh, the smooth gameplay really keeps me coming back every single year. And I just don't know if Blackout's going to be able to harness that 60 frames per second on console. Now... On PC, I could definitely see this blackout mode being 60 at least, and, you know, obviously, it's going to go up from there, way, way up. But on consoles, I think, I, I just find that a little hard to believe, and Vaughn even kind of doesn't sound, like, so sure about it. When he was asked about the frame rate, he said there was definitely no frame rate cap, which is good, which means that the frame rate's not going to cap at a certain amount, like 30 or so. But he didn't really seem too confident. He says it can get up to 60 frames, but he didn't say, oh, yep, it's 60 frames, like, immediately. It was kind of like a hesitation, and so I'm not really entirely sure on what I think about that until I end up playing. But I really just wanted to get this quick video out here on my biggest concern. And there was a bunch of things that he talked about, and there were probably other things in there that I find maybe a little bit concerning. But this is my number one big concern about the core gameplay of Blackout. But so far, everything does seem great, and uh, we're going to have to wait to see to play it. So that is it on that, and I just wanted to make this quick video also at the end, I would like to update you. Uh, I am working on a few episodes of the history of Call of Duty. I uh, recorded the Dogs episode, I'm going to get that out hopefully soon, um, and I have other episodes of that planned on the way, so stay tuned for that coming in the next coming days. Uh, I've just had a lot, lot, lot going on in my life, which I'll get into a little bit here since this video is kind of short uh, in general. Um, 
last year, I won't go into too much detail, but last year I got in a car crash, an accident, nothing bad, I didn't get hurt or anything, um, but I just never got my car fixed, I never, I didn't want to end up paying, because the, the person that I ended up hitting, he drove off, uh, we never had contact with anyone, so it, it was never, like, it was a big deal about my car, and it still ran fine, there was nothing wrong with it, it was just a lot of cosmetic damage on the left front driver's side. So, now anyways, a year later almost, uh, and that happened in October of 2017, so almost a year later at this point, I'm getting my car fixed, so I had to deal with that, I'm also going to school, I'm doing homework, I'm doing YouTube obviously here as you can see, and uh, playing video games when I can here and there, and also video editing on different projects on many different levels, so I am pretty busy, so that's why there hasn't been as many uploads as I would have liked, but I hope you did all enjoy this short video nonetheless, and you could let me know your thoughts down below and what you think about Blackout, and I would actually really like to hear, what is your number one concern for Blackout? Like, mine is the frame rate, and we're gonna have to see when the beta drops, but what is your number one concern for Blackout, if it's the same as mine, or if it's something totally different that Von der Haar happened to mention, or even if it's something that hasn't been mentioned yet that's concerning you? I'd like to know that in the comments below, but anyways, that's enough for this video. I will see you on the next one. This is Ninja Geek. I'm out, and peace.